Gotta talk about this right quick. This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this again. This is more to do about Trump with his uh, rally that happened over the weekend that was un- very unsuccessful, by the way. And, of course, by being unsuccessful, they come up with many excuses why it was. One of the things they said was it was unsuccessful because uh, the fact that uh, there were protesters out there and it scared some of the people away from protesting. I mean, from uh, coming out to his rally, which is a crock of shit. Because if that was the case, you would have never had the 6,200 people who were, who attended the rally in the first place. You know, he bragged about all that bullshit. About, oh, it's going to be millions of people going to be out there and all that. Ask for tickets and all this other dumb shit. And it turned out to be nothing and had nothing to do with it at all. You know. You know. Of course, he wants everybody to co-sign on that bullshit. But he found out that people aren't going to co-sign on bullshit when all you're talking is bullshit. When all you're doing is bullshit. It's not going to happen, pal. They caught you. They know what you're doing. The gig's up, buddy. You know, so you can't make that excuse about all oh, protesters will block people. No, protesters didn't block people from going out there. 6,200 people made it through. You know, people stayed home. People weren't going to bite the phone for the banana and the tailpipe over your bullshit about, wow, well, they ain't got nothing to worry about. Talk about they need to stop testing. Now, who in their right line, mind, let alone a president, would tell uh, scientists to stop testing, but doctors stop testing people for COVID 19? There's only one reason why you would even want that to stop uh, occurring. Because you want to make it look like you're being presidential, that you're doing your job. And, and and the fudge numbers to say, oh yeah, look, the numbers have went down. People aren't getting sick as much. Let's go ahead and reopen the country like so nothing ever happened. No, motherfucker. It ain't going like that. It ain't going like that. You know? Anyway, uh, yeah, sure did. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. He actually said that. He publicly said, uh, we need to stop testing. Why the fuck would you stop testing people for illness that has affected millions of people around the world, have killed over a hundred thousand people just in this country alone? Are you fucking serious? That's how much of an idiot he is. He doesn't give a shit about you. And people are finally waking up to smell the coffee to realize he don't give a shit about you. He really don't. He really, truly don't. For him to I mean, I was like, you actually going to encourage people to stop testing people from COVID-19? You're an animal. You're you're, you're a monster. You're a complete monster, man. There's no question about that. You absolutely are a complete monster to even say a uh, thing like that, man. If you're saying shit like that, you are a monster. There's no question about that. Beyond question that you're a monster. Because you won't allow people to die from the COVID-19 and not be tested. You want to allow that shit? Really? Nah, don't. Don't test. Don't, don't. We, we don't need any more testing right now. Who the fuck are you to be telling them not to test people? Just because you're president. Now you feel you have a right to just tell them not to test anybody because it's going to make your numbers look bad. We already know that's what this is about. Anybody in their right cotton-picking mind with any common sense knows that Trump is trying to get numbers fudged so he can make it look like he's doing good when he's dying. He only wants the testing to stop so that he'll make it'll, it'll fulfill his wish of getting a second term. Not because you're actually doing a good job. He doesn't care. And it's obvious that he doesn't care. You are literally tell, telling them to, to, to stop to stop testing people. 
What are you doing? You are literally te telling them to not test, to stop testing people. Why the fuck would you do that? Dumbest thing ever. She gonna get if she got her asshole before she got there. He literally told people not to test. Yeah. He's a dangerous son of a bitch. I'm telling you right now, he's dangerous as fuck. And anybody who, who thinks he's not is a dumb ass fool. But this is actually what he said. This is what he said verbatim. You know, the most dangerous virus to have ever hit this hit the world in over a hundred years. And you're telling them to not test people? But you don't want to be looked as a bad person. Hmm. Really? You don't want to be looked at as a racist. You don't want to be looked at as an evil person. Or that you're incompetent. Yet you're an evil person, you're incompetent, and you're a fucking racist all in all one. Hmm. Come on, man. People see what's going on. People around the world are not that stupid. Except you. You know. But you want everybody to think that you're smarter than what you are. And you're not. It's so obvious how smart that you are not. You're a complete numbskull, nincompoop, and idiot all rolled in one. You're all three. There's no question about that, man. No question about it. No question about it at all. But yet, you want everybody to love and respect you. You want everybody to look at you like, I'm a good guy. You're telling people to take a drug that hadn't even been proven... To, to, or, or, matter of fact, if anything, it's been uh, controversial, controversial that the drug didn't work in the first place. And, and you tell people to take it. Yeah. A drug to say that, that they have been proven to have had adverse effects on people's health. Just so you can satisfy your own ego. Well, Trump looks like people are figuring out how much of a fraud you really are. You are the fraud in chief. You are the racist in chief, man. There's no doubt about that. You are a complete idiot. People know you're a complete idiot. And finally figuring out that you are one of the biggest assholes to ever run this country. No question. And you need to be called out for it. Straight out the, straight out the gate, straight out the gate. You you ought to be called out for the bullshit. You, what the hell? Tell you, bitch. You need to be called straight out the gate, buddy. There's no reason why you shouldn't be. You know you're wrong. You're a racist fuck. You don't give a fuck about your own people, let alone. I mean, you, you just don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck about this country. You don't give a fuck about your own base. You know? And now they're figuring out how much of a fraud you really are. You are a fucking fraud. And you should be called out for it. Every, each and every time. Anyone can. No longer will people be hiding behind the bullshit that is Donald J. J. Trump anymore because you are a fraud. You are an absolute 100% fraud, period. No reason you should be considered anything other than that. You've lied to people. You've had people went to jail for you. You've had people uh, uh, forge documents for you. You've even had women who you know you fucked or was harassing uh, go back on their word about you. You know, all of that's been done. And yet you're still going out here getting away with murder. Day in, day out. You're still doing it. 
You know? My thing of it is, you need to be called out for the bullshit. And you should continue to get called out for the bullshit. You better stop. <laughs> you, you really should. You, be, you should be called out for it each and every time. You should never get away with it anymore. Never. Never again. You're wrong. You was wrong then. You're wrong now. And I always told people, I said, I used to watch the show. I admit, I used to watch the big, uh, I beg to lose, I'm sorry. The Apprentice. Watched it all the time. But I knew Trump was an asshole. One thing I knew about Trump, he was an asshole then, he's an asshole now. Nothing's changed in all the years he's been on. Nothing will ever change about this guy. The one thing I'm going to say that's going to have to change is the American views public of who he really is. 100% no good fraud. Period. This is DJ Wolf. I'm out.